My name is Emmanuel Okulo. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist, 35 years old. I've been practicing for the last five years. I was recently introduced to the field of infertility. I've had the opportunity to travel to Egypt, Cairo, where I attended a five-day workshop, a two-day conference, and two weeks hands-on training at Al-Azhar University, doing a bit of training in embryology. That was my first time at an embryology lab. I didn't know what to expect, and considering um, the role of an obstetrician and gynecologist in this country, where a lot of your work is face-to-face -face with people, you're talking to people, listening to their problems, thinking about solutions and coming up with solutions, and now all of a sudden here you are enclosed in a lab where everybody is looking down the microscope, and your interaction with the client or the patient is that much. So. Um, it was different, it was new, and it was challenging. I learned to appreciate the burden of infertility in, in, in Africa. The other thing I learned is that people do not know about infertility, because nobody talks about it. You will have that one or those three or four patients who come every day, every week, sneak in, um, tell you that, oh, well, I've been having this problem for the last maybe one, two, three years. A few of them will say they've been having the problem for more than five to ten years. And you ask, so what help have you sought? And when they list down the list of the things that they've been able to do to try and improve their situation, you're appalled. Let's take a sneak peek into Uganda. It is expected that once you get married, within a year or so, there should be fruit of your marriage. We should be seeing some children running about. If you delay in delivering on the results, the society begins to look at you different. For the woman, you become ostracized by the society. You are less than what you are worth. Your husband married you and uh, paid a dowry for you, and so he expects to see results for what he spent. And because of their very low status in society, the woman will bend over backwards to make sure that the man has a child. Mark is looking at increasing the awareness about infertility in Africa, especially Sub-Saharan Africa, that uh, infertility will be bumped up amongst the list of um, crucial or necessary healthcare benefits to the public. Uh, the other angle that Mark is looking at is male infertility. Men may also have a problem, and that problem needs to be addressed and dealt with. Otherwise, we'll be running around in circles. Uh, Mark is also looking at uh, the social impact of infertility, especially to the woman and also to the man. That uh, a woman is more than just a baby-making machine. And so because a woman cannot have a child doesn't mean she's worthless in the society. And that's one thing. Another thing that Mark is looking at, that how do we get the society to look at the woman more than just a baby-making machine? And for that, I feel proud to be a part of this, about what, what Mark is doing. I believe that knowledge shouldn't remain with the individual. Knowledge should be spread out to other people. And so uh, that is one of the areas where I also in, intend to put some of my time when I come back with the skills that I have to teach other people what I know. And also encourage other people to take on further training in the same field that I have. I don't intend to be a monopoly, no. I, I intend to be a dissipator of knowledge to improve the skill set of those around me. But also, the, if uh, recently in Uganda, we developed guidelines for the management of and the regulation of ART in our country. And one of the things that we are looking at is supervision of uh, clinics that are offering ART. And I think that's an area where I, I will be very instrumental with the knowledge that I have as an embryologist. I will be charged with the responsibility of overlooking what is happening in some of these centers. I must say I am proud to be associated with Mark because Mark is a leading provider in artificial reproductive treatment worldwide, recognized. They've been doing this for years. And uh, just to have my name attached to Mark for that reason is uh, very exciting. And the quality of training that I'm going to receive, I can boldly say that it's going to be top-notch world standard because of the association with Mark. And so uh, I am excited about what Mark is doing and uh, 
I, I look to the future.